In this tutorial, we're going to look at two different effects that you can add to an image layer using Adobe Photoshop, Gradient Fill and Blend Mode. Let's talk about Gradient Fill first. The Gradient tool is located along the left side of the screen, underneath the eraser. If you click and hold down on this tool, you'll also see two other tools located here. One of them, the Paint Bucket tool lets you color an entire layer one solid color. The gradient tool is similar in that it lets you color a layer. However, the gradient tool is used to set a gradient of that color, meaning that the color will move from light to dark along the line that you draw. Click on the layer where you'd like the gradient to start, and drag as far as you'd like it to extend. Take note, even if you don't draw the line across the whole layer, the entire layer's color will change somehow. The way it will change depends on the length of the line. You can also set a radial gradient. To do this, select the second box in this row along the top. The other boxes will also change the manner of the gradient. You can set the gradient to move from one color to another, rather than from lighter to darker of a set color. To do this, set colors for both the front and back square in the bottom left. Click on them and use the color wheel to select your colors. You can also use one of a number of preset gradients in this drop-down menu on the top left. Another way to edit a layer's appearance is by using a blend mode. Blend modes affect the way that a layer's pixels interact with those of the layers surrounding it. The precise differences between the layers are defined by a set of mathematical equations programmed into Photoshop. For our purposes, it'll be enough to just understand the general groupings. Overall, the blend modes fall into seven basic groups. Normal, Darken, Lighten, Contrast, Inversion, Cancellation, and Component. Within these categories, you can play around with the different modes and the fill and opacity properties of your layer to find the best effect. The Blend Mode drop-down menu is located here above the Layer panel, and the Opacity and Fill drop-downs are located right next to it. Now you know a couple different ways to transform a project layer using Adobe Photoshop.